What's up guys? Just thought I'd give you a little tour of the uh, the drill press here since we're talking drill presses and variable frequency drives. So um, this is a little Tico FM50 and this is a one horse Powermatic 1200. This is a three phase machine and um, what I have coming into this for power is just 220 single phase like you get on your washer dryer machine. Um, this machine converts the power to three phase and also gives a lot of control over the motor, how fast it's running forward and reverse, um, and a lot of controls over the, the spindle. So it's a pretty handy thing to have. So right now it's flashing zero, which means zero hertz. Um, and what I did is I pulled a lot of the control that's going on in this panel up to these switches and a speed potential, a speed pot, uh, which makes controlling this a lot easier. Um, so what you can do is you can spin this little speed pot and as you notice the Hertz go up. Now 60 Hertz I can, well whatever, this 61.2 this would be the um, if it was 60 Hertz would be the full speed of the motor if this machine was being driven by three phase power. But the variable frequency drive allows you to overdrive the motor and um, you can I just for screwing around set this up so I can I can run up to 120. So when the speed is 10 on this little panel that I made, um, it's going to be 120 hertz. So it would be doubling the motor speed. So this is an 1800 RPM motor. So the motor is going to be spinning at 3600. Now I have the speed of the drill press with the um, the physical drive speed set a lot slower. So if this thing was set to, um, I think it would go to like 4,000 RPM if this was at full speed, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you the controls of the, the speed pot. So anyway, so that's the, um, that's the speed pot, and you can instantly change your hertz readout, and you have to do some math and just kind of eyeball it to figure out what your, what your hertz is going to be, but let's just set it at 30 hertz. So to engage the drill press spindle forward, you just switch the speed and it, it drives it forward. Now if you're too fast, you can slow this thing down to, okay, so that's two and a half hertz. Now I can stop this spindle with my hand easily. Once you get up to about, I'm gonna guess, well that's eight hertz. This is probably, I don't know, just 70, 80 RPM. I mean, I could really muckle onto that thing, really muckle onto it and stop it, but probably not likely. Now you can speed this thing right up to 60 Hertz, exactly. And then when you stop it, it's got a braking function breaks the spindle almost instantly. And the nice thing with three phase is you can reverse the spindle easily. So I just hit it reverse, and now it reverses. Now you're not gonna reverse the spindle to drill like that, but what is nice is if you're power tapping, you can dial this back down to, you know, whatever, seven or eight hertz, and then reverse a tap out if you were tapping it. Um, the nice thing is it's got a jog function too, which is a little momentary switch. So if you have the speed down to zero, you engage the spindle in the forward direction, okay, and then just hit the jog function. It'll bump the spindle for as long as you have your finger on it. And the same thing, when you reverse the spindle and jog it, It'll jog it back out. And that's it. So um, having one of these really gives you a lot of control over your motor and it also generates three phase power. So if you don't have three phase and you have a small horsepower unit like this, these are about 140 bucks. And I probably put 20 bucks in materials into that little um, switch setup, which works really nice.